Hey, lizard people. Let's talk about some of the best fruits, vegetables, and salads for bearded dragons. So some of the best of these are going to be the ones you naturally find in the wild and at your local grocery store. It's essential to feed them these plants often and to mix up these kinds of plants you feed them to ensure they're getting all the nutrients they need. Bearded dragons grow through changes in their diet depending on this, their stage of life. In general, a younger bearded dragon needs to eat more often with a diet uh, with, that's mostly protein with some plants. And as they get older, this actually completely flips. Um, so in adulthood, they're going to need a diet consistent of 70% plants, 30% protein, and that includes their insects and worms. So for reference, I've put this table below um, on how, like, you'll see, um, as you'll see here, their age, the diet ratio, the amount of feedings, and frequency. Now, what you want to pay attention to here is on the diet ratio, it says 70% insect and 30% vegetables all the way until a year old. Now, once they um, reach adulthood, this um, reverses. And then another thing to pay attention to, also at adulthood, their number of insects also drops and changes from a daily basis to on a weekly basis. And then the feeding frequency also changes um, several times throughout their life. So you got three to five feedings at zero to three months when they're young, two feedings between three and eight months, one feeding a day between eight and 12 months, and then at and at the adult stage, you're going to go one day just salads, the next day just insects, and then the next day absolutely nothing, and then repeat this continuously for the rest of their life. And another thing to pay um, that you want to uh, pay attention to while you're feeding them is you want to feed them as much food as they will eat in between roughly 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and don't feed them any more past that. And then also don't leave any dead insects in their cage um, because if they come back and eat it after it's rotten, it can cause health problems. So how to feed a bearded dragon. Uh, so the first thing you really need to pay, this, pay attention to is the size of the food. You don't want to feed them anything larger than the space between their eyes. This can cause severe health problems, paralysis, death, um, and it's, just, it's, very, it's a very painful way for them to die. Uh, so you really pay attention to this. And then while you're feeding, you want to place the food in their enclosure really close to your dragon. And once they start eating, continue to play, give them food by placing it right in front of them. Uh, worms and insects work, are really easy to do this with because there's a little wiggle or movement that attracts the dragon to it. Um, and it's commonly acceptable, acceptable to feed them from your hand as well. Uh, just be careful not to get your fingers bit, and also um, there's certain bugs that could bite you too. So you can, um, that's really up to you. you can, optionally, you could use some kind of tong or tweezer, um, rubber tips. Tweezers are great, something like that that will um, that you can feed with. Uh, so you want to continue doing this until they stop eating. Once they have stopped eating, don't give them any more food, and then. And after they've ignored the food for a few minutes, uh, like they've gone on to do something else, even um, you remove the food, as I was saying earlier, because you don't want it to spoil. Uh, in short, your goal is to feed your pet as much as possible um, in one setting and then remove all leftovers. So let's cover some of the best fruits you can feed your pet. Uh, bearded, dragons, bearded dragons can eat uh, most fruits without being harmed. Uh, but the fruit in our list excels in nutrition and is completely safe for your pet lizard. And so, but don't overdo uh, one type of fruit. Try to mix it up. Give them a variety of these fruits and nutrition. And overall, fruits can make up about a third of their vegetable meals. And some of these best uh, fruits are listed below. These are going to be figs, melons, apples, mangoes, papaya, dates, and so on. Um, all of these foods are vegetables, I'm sorry, fruits are going to be, you know, completely safe for your pet. And like I said, just make sure that they only make up about a third of the vegetable meal. So now when it comes to the best vegetables, um, we're talking about these are going to be uh, the plants like humans will eat as well. Um, for your greens, uh, you're looking for things that are jam-packed with nutrients uh, and mix these up as well. You know, don't stick to just one uh, vegetable the entire pet's life. You know, just like us, they need variety. 
a good rule of thumb is to cover as many colors of vegetables as possible. Um, so different colors mean different vitamins. And for vegetables, they can make up half of their veggie meal. Some of these are going to be uh, peas, sweet potatoes, kale, okra, bell pepper, um, broccoli, collards, and butternut squash, things like that. So, um, and, you know, so mix up the colors and then make sure that it's no more than half of their, their vegetable meal. Okay, now for the best salads. So as with vegetables, uh, salads are going to be packed with nutrients. Um, the, but these greens are also crucial for their healthy digestive system. So like the other plants, make sure you mix up the salads you use from meal to meal. Uh, and salads can also make up half of the veggie meal on a veg, vegetable day. Um, so some of the uh, best salads or things to go in their salad will be parsley, um, coriander, mustard greens, uh, turnip greens, and just, you know, just the ratios are, I think are going to be the, the most important. So things to just to be aware of. So a half of their veggie meal when it is a veggie day can be made up of these. So even with an excellent and varied diet, there's a chance that your bearded dragon may become short in a certain type of nutrients. This is very common. Uh, and the most common is going to be a calcium deficiency. This is from a lack of calcium in their diets or a lack of vitamin D, and which comes from their UV bulbs, um, and they need because they need the bulbs to absorb calcium. Um, the easiest way to avoid this problem is to use a supplement. There's many different types out there. The most common and effective is um, usually like a calcium powder you can sprinkle on top of their food once or twice a week, um, and the, you, optionally you can do other things like gut loading. Um, that your insects or thing like, things like that, but for since ca calcium is the most common, a uh, strict this um, calcium powder made for your um, bearded dragon, it's going to be the easiest, most convenient solution to this problem. So your bearded dragon must get the the best fruits, vegetables, and salads in their diet. Failing to do so can result in a severe imbalance in their nutrition, and it's going to shorten their lifespan. So making sure to feed your dragon 70% of their diet based on plants and switching up the types of plants they eat, you're setting them up for a longer and healthier life. Um, so for more information on the diets and stuff, uh, and you may also, and also want to check out some of the best worms for bearded dragons, if you're interested in this topic, you can go check out our main website. We've got tons of articles there covering everything that you would ever want to know about our bearded dragon. For those of you that are really looking to become the best bearded dragon pet owner, I have a digital handbook available on my website. You can go pick it up. I, I cover, cover everything you can really think of about these pets. Um, it has, I've gotten really good reviews back from people that have bought it. Uh, so if that's something you're looking for, you'll find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you learned something new. While you're here, please comment below, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Until the next one. Yeah. Have you subscribed yet? Subscribe yet?